Hello my friends and welcome to the first episode of the Battlestar Galactica Deadlock campaign which was voted for by my patrons the only RTS game on the list and it won the vote so there we go <laughs> I won't complain too hard because I uh, I was actually a huge fan of the original Battlestar Galactica Yep, I am talking about the one with the kid with the penis-shaped head. <laughs> and the guy from the Pegasus pushing a button like crazy before it blows up. <laughs> that one. Anyway. New campaign. Okay. The base campaign. The original Deadlock campaign plus the Broken Alliance missions. Okay, let's do this one then. Difficulty! Hurt me. <laughs> Hurt me difficulty. Persistent damage, crew veterancy. Should I disable the tutorial? That's probably not a good idea. After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the 12 colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. Peace would reign in our lifetime and the lifetimes of our children. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> they could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace in the hole. The largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 nice. colonies promised one, in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. Hey, it's white! Excellent! <clears throat> it's not quite as glossy and plastic looking as in the original, though. The first, <laughs> was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. The news? Icon's capital cities were devastated by silent assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's ex uh, board Davis, Kane. you have been promoted to operations commander of the entire colonial fleet. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on Pycon. The war room awaits your arrival, Commander. Admiral Kane. She was evil in the remake. <laughs> Pycon's Battlestar is almost ready to deliver, but Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to Pycon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. Right, let's figure out what the frack we're doing. Okay, I guess I'm not actually allowed to change anything at this time. 
Nice mission board though. Arr. It's time to make our presence known in this war, Commander. I trust you won't need my instruction twice. Tell your ships to move full speed towards the enemy. Okay. Proceed when you're confident with your commands. Our ships use okay. fire control systems to automatically target and fire on any hostiles that move within range. Turrets will be less accurate the smaller or further away their target is. You can access a ship's fire control and check on its firing solutions for yourself. Okay. Interesting. Well, he's just like dived to the Sir, left. We've got a new Dreadus contact. Dreadus IFF confirms the contact is a silent Corvette. Scanning for further intelligence. I mean, Cylon Corvettes won't hold up to sustained fire. Focus your turrets on one side to punch through their armor and destroy the hull. These ships also have long range guided munitions, useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. Understood. Can I change? Am I allowed to change the movement of this ship? Yes, sir. Ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. Uh oh. <laughs> Tell the engineering crews aboard those ships to hot sticks what they can. I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your engagement. Hull and armor cannot be repaired mi mission. Yes, sir. Okay, I've gained control of this ship's maneuvering now. I had to turn the other way to counter turn this guy and also to take damage on the other side. Subsystem repairs are complete. Okay. I have to enter the tactical map. Okay, that's fine. 
keep turning. So say we all. Okay, so this sweeping maneuver should give me access to this ship from literally every angle. Should be able to pummel him down. Reloading two turns, okay. Take the left side here. Nice. Now, stay behind his sorry ass. So say we all. Okay. Hole thirty five. totally outmaneuvered him. He's getting ruined now. <laughs> and this one can just uh, escape until such time as uh, this one's done cleaning up this one. Wow, there's like a lot of, uh, there's a lot of detail here. Understood. Okay, this is quite tricky. <laughs> nearly gone. One HP left. Understood. You just keep running for now. There's a lot of damage has actually been taken here. We're gonna hammer the fractures so they can't get back up. All right, mission complete.
Let's uh, get that focus fire on then. Keep going. Manticore is taking damage. Maneuvering is definitely quite tricky. Should be a solid interception. Uh, let's go this way. They really focused on the one ship. The other one is actually uh, basically undamaged. Contacts are down. We recorded a vid feed of the battle if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. Mm, no. <laughs> Probably could have done that a bit better than I did. But anyway. some uh, pretty solid damage on this one. Congratulations, Commander. But we still have work to do. Okay, build ships. Tillium, I presume, and RP are resources. Isn't the quorum like the various representatives of each faction? got her stomping boots on started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the admiral pin to her jacket she's out to prove she's ready for the top job of colonial fleet okay simple enough that promotion off the back of your superiors bad luck but we've all lost someone in this war I guess my sister was on Galactica before it disappeared Pycon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier 
Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to PyCon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir. Okay. Do I get access to any of this yet? It doesn't look like I do. Our ships took a few hits during that fight. We should have the crew do some repairs before we move on. Yeah, one of our ships took a load of damage and the other was left basically untouched. So the AI focus fired one, one ship like crazy. I did successfully manage to spread the damage between the right, the left, and the rear. But it's still to cull damage. Thirteen Tylium to repair. It says that damage is repaired over time as well. I can't seem to select between the uh, ships at the moment either. Well, whatever. We'll make the repairs. I guess because the tutorial is running for the first couple of missions, I can't actually go through all these menus yet. Jump commands resolve at the end of the turn, okay. There's literally nothing else that I can do at this time. Okay, all right. I sort of, this is one thing I'm not like 100% a fan of in games is limiting the menus early on like really strongly limiting them for tutorial reasons I can see why it's done it just bugs me a little bit then again maybe if I'd have ticked the tutorial off checkbox it would have just let me do whatever I liked which uh, would have been good <laughs> it's me, my two ships, and this giant space station. Okay. So we can change the side weapons from missiles to mines. If you so wish. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. Dratus contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. PyCon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. 
Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. <laughs> Why would anyone want to see the fleet fail? Do you want to get wiped out by the Cylons? <laughs> the internal politics of the First War are very confusing. Okay, I have three unidentified contacts and... Whatever that is. Or is that a wreckage? That is a wreckage. That looks like a Battlestar wreckage. But if we're just now delivering the Battlestars, why would there be a Battlestar wreckage here? Wow, this thing is slow. So say we all. I would prefer to actually have these units hang back and have the have the battle star lead because it can take a beating. On it, Commander. Ships are not lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. Okay. A defensive posture ensures the ship's defense-oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. Hmm. Makes you wonder if it's worth boosting your offense to actually carve through the enemy faster or whether it's better to just uh, try and out tank. The main issue here is that these guys are actually all around me. Receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. Okay. Launching fighters. Launch them all. Yes, Commander. On it, Commander. So say we all. Gonna punch through here and then spin around. Seems ideal. That will lead these lot to focusing on this, but I mean, it's a barge. It's gonna take it. It's 
hammer that guy. Although, actually, can I get a... Uh... Okay, we've got front and side. They haven't got any fighters, so let's just switch to closest targeting. Missiles incoming. Use squadrons to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. Okay, where are they? Okay, cool. Let's go with a defensive posture and try and get that hacking under control. Missiles incoming! They're already in our network. I can't keep them out. Target activity. Give me manual control now. Yes, sir. Done, 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 done. Uh, target this guy. Okay. A battle star is being hacked. Fighter squadron is taking fire. All right. We really, really put the hurt on him. Really, really put the hurt on that Talon. On it, Commander. Do you have to always uh, select subsystems for repair? Change your posture to defensive. Action stations. Since you're hacked and you have hull damage, and switch your posture to offensive now. Action stations. Because the hacking is done. Understood. Gonna do the scissors maneuver. It's might work with F-16s. It might work with battleships. <laughs> oh, it worked. <laughs> Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. We've already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. Battle stars are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. Okay, flak. The armory is being repaired, so we can't do any we can't do that right now. 
Oh my god, have I got have I worked my way into a lock? <laughs> the tutorial wants me to use the flak and won't let me do anything else, but I can't use the flak because I'm repairing the subsystem and it won't let me cancel. Okay, I, I haven't worked myself into a lock there. I thought I'd locked myself. <laughs> Turn this bucket. Hey, the old scissors maneuver worked. Now, after him. Get that fire control fixed. Okay, there's a quick way to do repairs, good. Sir, PyCon Intel just Got confirmed em. that Admiral McKinley died in the attack on Fleet HQ. With Admiral Sarkis still missing aboard Galactica, Admiral Kane remains the commanding officer of Colonial Fleet. McKinley was uh -oh. a good commander and a good soldier. We honor his memory today. So say we all. Oh, so that's the battle star. He was on that one. Come on, boys, get that fire control online. Seriously. I totally outmaneuvered him. He's like, just, he's in a world of hurt now. <laughs> okay, so what I should do is, since this is no longer engaged, I should set its posture to be entirely defensive while the repairs get made. And I should also recall the squadrons. Oh, they all look to be in great condition, though. I can't recall them anyway, because the hangar is smashed. Huh, with the hangar damaged, I can't give them orders, which is weird. <laughs> You think the CIC would be the one issuing the orders? Understood. There we go. I can do it manually. Squadron target is confirmed. You probably won't even make it over there before the uh, before the frigates take it down. Cold. All hostile contacts are cleared. Nice. Playing with Pycon's toy. I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. They've already been notified, Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. All right. That went much more smoothly than the first mission. <laughs> Commander, we have a problem. The uh -oh. interest relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning? What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. 
This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. Commander, we're going to need more ships. We're gonna need more so ships. Taking up yards one and two for the Jupiter class battle stars, and we're only prepped to crunch Manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. There's no use having a half-built battle stars if we can't defend them. All right. Build 107. Rush 447. Damn, huh. Okay, I have no choice here. I presume I must okay. build one of these. We've got the Manticore hull underway, but let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. Oh, are you gonna force me to rush it? No, the precious resources. Why? Why would you pay like the price of four ships just to get it now? Your brand new Manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. Wow. They can just teleport it in. Well, I suppose that's why they gave you so much money for that mission, huh? Sir, we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. Yeah, it's gonna be the Cylons. It's always the Cylons. Okay, can I save from here? So I can. Cool! Alright! Well, that's it for now. I think this is a good start for a first episode. For a first uh, couple of missions are down. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm still getting to grips with it, but it seems like uh, fighter plane maneuvers serve me well here. <laughs> yeah, F F-16 scissor tactics with a pair of manticores and it just worked beautifully. <laughs> the guy was like, basically pushed so that he had to do nothing but fly away from me with his with his rear exposed. Um, that's a lot, there's a lot of management to do, which I don't know how I feel about it yet. But anyway, that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.